So today I've talked about a P2112 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a P2112 code? Well, it's a throttle actuator control system stuck closed. And so what does this mean? Well, basically located up on top of the engine on the intake is going to be what's called a throttle body. And this is basically where all the air is going into the engine. And how much air is going into the engine is being controlled by this plate that's inside of here. There's a butterfly plate that opens and shuts as the gas pedal is pressed to control how much air is going into the engine. When throttle bodies were first introduced, they used to have a cable attached to this butterfly plate that went down to the gas pedal. And as the gas pedal was pressed, it would open up that plate to let more air go in. But most cars built these days, they got rid of that cable that goes down to the gas pedal. And how open that plate is, is basically controlled by the computer. And depending on the vehicle, the year, the make, the model, things like this, there can be different types of systems. So if you do go to work on your vehicle, it's always a good idea to get a diagram of your particular vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on. But basically how these systems work is that there's going to be a sensor down on the gas pedal that's detecting how much that pedal's been pressed. And it's reporting this information back to a computer called the throttle actuator control module. Sometimes this module can be built into the main computer, like the engine control module or the powertrain control module, or it could be separate all by itself. But basically it's just a computer that's controlling everything. And this computers can be controlling a small motor built into the throttle body called the throttle actuator motor, which is just a small little DC motor that opens and shuts that plate. And there's also going to be a throttle position sensor that's reporting back to the computer how open that plate is. But when you get this P2112 code, the computer's seeing that this is stuck closed for some reason, that there's some kind of issue going on there. And so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P2112 code? Well, the first thing that's going to cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on with that throttle body. Either it's gone bad and this plate's not opening and shutting correctly. That little motor that opens and shuts it, that it's burnt out or having some kind of issue. Or it's gotten really super dirty and it can't open and close correctly like it usually does. And so the first thing I would do is I'd go check it out, look inside of there and check to see if it's gotten really super dirty. Because it is very common for these throttle bodies to get really dirty, to get a lot of buildup on them. And depending on how much buildup they get on them, they can get stuck. Or it could just throw all those sensors off and things along these lines. So you can go and look inside of there and check to see if it looks really dirty. If it does look really dirty, you can get what's called throttle body air intake cleaner and you could spray inside of there and clean it up real good. Maybe even use like a toothbrush and a small rag or something like that. And basically you just clean it up real good. And quite often that can solve a lot of issues with throttle bodies. If you do use throttle body air intake cleaner to clean it up, one thing to note is that the vehicle will run badly for like 30 seconds to a minute when you first start it up until it all gets burnt away. But then after that, it should run better. Another thing that could happen with throttle bodies is that for some reason this plate that is binding up in there or it's stuck for some reason, it's not lined up correctly. Also, there's that small little motor inside there that the computer's controlling to open and shut that plate along with gears and some other things going on inside there. And if anything goes wrong with that motor or any of these gears or anything, then that's going to cause problems. Sometimes when there is those kind of issues, you can hear that motor kind of making a noise or those gears making a noise that's not correct. Of course, it can't fail and you don't hear nothing. But if you do hear any kind of like whining noise or grinding noise or anything like that around that throttle body when that plate's opening and shutting, then that can be a sure sign that there's some kind of issue going on there. Of course, it's possible that the whole throttle body just needs to be replaced. If that little motor has burned up in there or there's some kind of issue going on with the gears inside there, it's usually best just to replace the whole thing. One thing to note about these throttle bodies is depending on the vehicle, the year, the make, the model, things like that, the computer may or may not need what's called a relearn procedure that it may need to relearn all the new variances that's going on with the new throttle body. Some vehicle computers also need to relearn when the throttle body's clean. Quite often you can just start up the vehicle and drive it around. The computer will automatically relearn. But sometimes there are specific steps that you need to do for the computer to relearn. So just keep in mind that if you do clean it or you replace that throttle body for some reason and you just can't get the vehicle to run right, you might want to do some research and check to see if it has what's called a throttle body relearn procedure. And the next thing that can cause this is that there's some kind of wiring issue going on. There's like an open, a short, a blown fuse, there's a bad connection, something like that. So you can't go through, be sure all those connections look like they're good. All those pins on those wires that they look like they're all pushed in all the way. It's also a good idea to go check any related fuses. How the fuses are labeled, again, is going to be different for every vehicle. For example, here's a 2007 Chevy Silverado and it's labeled ECM throttle control fuse number five. 
Here's another example of a 2015 Toyota Corolla and the fuse is labeled ETCS, fuse number eight. So it can be different how the fuse is labeled and things like this, but it can be a good idea to go check the fuses. You can also get wiring schematics for your particular vehicle and go and check and be sure that everything is good. Again, be sure to get wiring schematics for your vehicle because again, they will be different, but you can go and check and be sure that you're getting voltage, usually like five volts. Check and be sure you've got a good ground and then check and be sure that there's no opens or shorted wires or anything like this going back to the computer because the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring problem. And the next thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. This isn't too common. Usually when you get this code, it's going to be something else, but it does happen sometimes. And this is going to be something like a bad throttle actuator control module or a bad engine control module or a bad powertrain control module. Usually if one of these computer modules go bad, you'll begin a lot of other codes. Also, if you do think you have a bad computer module, be sure that the battery is charged good, that there's no issues there, that all the connections are good. You can even check the alternator output and be sure that's good. Because all these computer modules, they all need a good, stable power supply. And if they don't, then they can throw them off and just cause them to have issues. But the next thing on the list is a bad computer module. The last thing on the list is going to be a bad sensor. And this is going to be like a bad throttle position sensor, which would be located on the throttle body, or a bad pedal position sensor, which would be located down on the gas pedal. If one of these sensors go bad, then that can cause problems. But usually if one of these sensors go bad, you're going to get another code. So for example, if you also got like a P0122 code, throttle pedal position sensor switch A circuit low, then in that case, it can be a good idea to go check out that sensor and be sure that there's no issues going on there because the last thing on the list is going to be a bad sensor. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P112 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.